Ming Emperor Jia Jing had four emperors. Three emperors were promoted by Jia Jing. One empress was the biological mother of Emperor Mu Zong. Unfortunately, none of those empresses had happy ending. Empress Xiao Ke was Jia Jing's consort Kang and the biological mother of Mu Zong. Jia Jing didn't like her and her son. Mu Zong became the emperor because he was Jia Jing's only surviving son. When Jia Jing was alive, he had a very difficult time. In 1554, Xiao Ke passed away. According to Chinese traditions, Mu Zong should mourn for three years, but Jia Jing didn't, didn't allow him to do so. Different with Xiao Ke, Jia Jing's other three emperors once got Jia Jing's favor. In 1521, Emperor Wu Zong passed away without any kids because he was the only surviving son of Emperor Xiao Zong and his Empress Xiao Kang. According to the inheriting rules set by Ming founding Emperor Zhu Yuanzhang, the throne should be passed to Xiao Zhong's oldest little brother. Prince Xing, but at that time, Prince Xing already passed away, so the throne should be passed to Prince Xing's son. Prince Xing had two boys, but the oldest boy didn't grow up, so lucky Jia Jing got the throne for free. Jia Jing became the emperor at age 15. In ancient time, this age is old enough to get married. Theoretically, Princess Xin was Jia Jing's biological mother. She should have priority on selecting Jia Jing's wife. But Xiao Kang was the real empress daughter, so Xiao Kang became the one who selected the empress for Jia Jing. In ending 1521, Empress Daughter Xiao Kang published the order to select imperial women for Jia Jing. In August 1522, candidates arrived at Beijing to participate in the final round. Jia Jing mentioned he wanted his grandma to select imperial women for him. But the chef government officer Yang Tinghe didn't agree. Because at that time, Jia Jing didn't have enough powers to fight with government officers. He had to agree that Xiao Kang selected the empress and other imperial women. In September 1522, Chen Shi became Jia Jing's first empress. When the couple just got married, their relationship wasn't bad. The empress Chen was very pretty and was well educated. So the empress daughter Xiao Kang really liked her. But later, the Empress Chen lost Jia Jing's favor. In official historical documents, no records recorded what happened between them. I guess here are three reasons. First, Jia Jing was attracted by other consorts. Second, Jia Jing and her biological mother had strong conflict with Xiao Kang. So, Jia Jing extended the hate to the Empress Chen. Third, the Empress Chen didn't give birth any kids. Jia Jing got married in 1522. By 1528, he didn't have any kids. 
There are two versions about Empress Chen's death. In official historical documents, in spring 1528, the Empress Chen was pregnant. Jia Jing was really happy, so he always took some time with the Empress. One day, Jia Jing and the Empress Chen sat together. The consort Zhang and the consort Wen separately sent a cup of tea to the emperor and the empress. When Jia Jing saw consort Zhang's beautiful hands, he touched them. The empress Chen saw what happened, so he put the cup down and left, which made Jia Jing very mad. Jia Jing immediately yelled to the empress. The empress was so scared and had miscarriage during the night. In unofficial documents, one day, Jia Jing, the empress Chen, the consort Zhang, and the consort Wen had a lunch. Jia Jing required the empress to pour wine into consort Zhang's cup. In ancient Chinese culture, the lower rank people should put one for higher rank people. So Jia Jing's request was equal to publicly eliminate the Empress. The Empress Chen was very mad and threw her cup heavily on the ground. This made Jia Jing lost her mind and kick the Empress which caused the empress miscarriage. After the empress Chen lost her baby, Jia Jing was really mad at her. He required the empress move out from the Quinning Palace and wanted to dethrone the empress. The government officers told Jia Jing that the empress was dying. Dethrone her made maybe hurt Jia Jing's reputation. So Jia Jing didn't formally dethrone the Empress. Only several months later, the Empress Chen passed away. Jia Jing degraded her funeral and buried her in the tomb for consort. Ming Empress posthumous name begins with the character Xiao, but Jia Jing gave the Empress Chen a posthumous name, Dao Ling. Dao means don't have long life. Ling, as the posthumous name, had a very bad meaning. Three years later, maybe Jia Jing forgave the Empress Chen a little bit. He changed the Empress Chen's posthumous name from Dao Ling to Xiao Jie. When the Empress Chen was just buried, Jia Jing's biological mother was eager to select a new Empress for him. Now, Jia Jing's mother already became the Empress Dowager, so she could select the Empress for Jia Jing this time. Can you guys who was Jia Jing's second empress? Yes, the consort Zhang. The consort Zhang was very pretty, but she never got education. This was similar to Jia Jing's mother, the Empress Dowager Jiang. So the Empress Dowager Jiang liked her. The Empress Zhang worked as the empress for six years and was formally disrupted. In official historical documents, no records about why Jia Jing disrupted the Empress Zhang. In unofficial documents, there are two reasons. Influenced by his parents, Jia Jing started to believe in Taoism when he was a little kid. After Jia Jing got married, he didn't have any kids for 11 years.
Because Emperor Wuzong passed away without any kids, and Jia Jing was the only surviving son of his parents, Jia Jing really worried about he couldn't have kids. In 1533, Jia Jing had his his first kid, a son, after a toyism prayed for him. So, toyist pursuits. Became the most important thing in Jia Jing's life. Jia Jing believed all his imperial women should believe in toys, and asked his most trusted toyist to give license to his imperial women every day. The Empress Zhang couldn't understand those license at all. Besides. Jia Jing really loved worship. In ancient China, the worship process was very complicated. Well, Jia Jing believed the class process wasn't complicated enough. He added more. Unfortunately, the Empress Zhang didn't enjoy it, so she felt exhausted. One day, a garment. A government officer gave Jia Jing a special ganadama as gift. The government officer said, "This ganadama grown for one thousand years. Once people ate it, the people would have very, very long life." So Jia Jing asked the imperial cook to cook the ganadama and give it to Empress Zhang. You know what? After it, Jia Jing's gift, the Empress Zhang almost went to the heaven. She was poisoned and almost died. Now Empress Zhang couldn't control herself anymore. She argued with Jia Jing and made Jia Jing very mad. So Jia Jing disarmed her. The other version is like this: The Empress Dowager Xiao Kang had two brothers. They always bullied people. When Xiao Zhong and Wu Zhong were alive, no one dared to discover Zhang brothers' crimes. Well, Jia Jing hated the Empress Xiao Kang very much. When someone discovered Zhang brothers, Jia Jing wanted to kill them. To save her brothers, Xiao Kang bowed outside Jia Jing's residential palace and begged him to forgive her brothers. The Empress Zhang threw. The Empress Zhang thought the Empress Dowager was so pitiful and tried to appreciate Jia Jing forgive Zhang brother. This made Jia Jing very mad, and this wrong the Empress Zhang. The Empress Zhang passed away two years after she was disarmed. Jia Jing buried her as a consort and didn't give her posthumous name. After disarming the Empress Zhang, Jia Jing immediately promoted Imperial Concubine De. To the Empress, who was known the Empress Xiao Lie, she was selected by Jia Jing. The Empress Xiao Lie saved Jia Jing in palace plot of Yin Ying Ye, but she was trapped in fear. Jia Jing didn't allow anyone to save her. In 1567. Jia Jing passed away. Before he died, he required Mu Zhong to bury him with Empress Xiao Lie, and put their spring tables into the temple. Well, Xiao Zhong seems didn't like Empress Xiao Lie, so Mu Zhong buried the Empress Xiao Lie with Jia Jing, but. Didn't put her spirit table with Jia Jing. Besides, 
Muzun reburied the Empress Xiao Lie and the Empress Xiao Ke with Jia Jing in Yongling. No matter Jia Jing hated his three empresses how much, when he was alive, after he passed away, he had to stay with them forever. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.